technically my first official doctor's appointment and I know that's crazy because I am halfway through my pregnancy, but let me explain. Hey, So I just left the doctor and I want to give you guys a few updates because last time I updated the vlog I was going to the warehouse and I completely forgot to show you guys because it was like a very very quick like tour. Basically it didn't work out. There was two reasons. She said that it was one price and one size because I don't need like a huge space at all. So she said it was one price in size and then when I got there she said that one wasn't available anymore. And so it was like almost double in price and it was way bigger so obviously I didn't need something that big and I wasn't trying to pay that much a month for my like very first warehouse so that didn't work out and honestly I really was just like I wish she would have said this before I drove all the way out there and made like a whole like day out of it you know and I mean it wasn't that far but you know you just change your day around when you have plans and stuff I don't know where my lotion is oh that was that that really sucked because I was so excited but I do have another tour and it's just been really a struggle finding a warehouse. People have been so like strange acting about me wanting to tour, just like anything. So anyways, about to put on my lotion. And this hand lotion has been so good. Okay. Anyway, and now I'm leaving my doctor's appointment. And this was my first, technically my first official doctor's appointment. And I know that's crazy because I am halfway through my pregnancy, but let me explain. So this is my third pregnancy. And honestly, finding a doctor has just been chaos. So, like, I was beyond shocked at how hard it was to find a doctor to get in somewhere. Like, I don't know. I've been seeing so many pregnancy announcements. Like, it really just seems like everybody's pregnant right now. And the doctors in Texas have been reflecting that. Honestly, like, my whole experience with having a doctor has just been, like, insane. Like, okay, so I didn't have a doctor here because we were here for a year when I found out that I was pregnant. My husband kept saying you need to find a doctor, but like we had to get the kids doctors. Um, we were in the process of getting Kyron like an official doctor to get him a diagnosis and then getting Kyron enrolled in school and then getting like a dentist and just like, it was so many different appointments that I was like, I don't feel like I'm the priority right now. And my husband kept telling me to and I didn't listen. So of course, when it came time that now I'm pregnant again and we weren't expecting to be pregnant, you know, like this soon, I was just like, okay, so now I have to find a doctor. And if I would have done it before, I could have just gone to my doctor. Anywho, I had to find a new doctor. So initially, my first step, I went to a free clinic for an ultrasound because, you know, anything can happen in pregnancy. Like, it could be a chemical pregnancy. Um, I don't know. I just feel like for me, the ultrasound really, like, confirms everything and makes it seem more real. Like, it's, you know, I don't know. If that makes sense so anyway usually my first step is always going to a free clinic nearby that gives a first ultrasound because a lot of the times with the doctor they won't give you an ultrasound until you're confirmed eight weeks but I'm like I just like going to an ultrasound first because I feel like it gives me confirmation that was what we did first we went to an ultrasound and then she was like well since you I think I was only like six weeks and she was like since you don't have a doctor here yet you can come back and like three weeks and we can see the baby a little bit more so everything was fine at the first ultrasound we came back which was really nice that they let us come back and stuff and everything was fine at the ultrasound as well they gave me like my due date and you know just made me feel better so then like I said went to find a doctor they gave me a list of um, good doctors in the area I called so many of them first of all it was really hard even getting like on the phone with a receptionist to like book an appointment so that was the first hurdle and then um there was one and so mind you this was in the beginning of october when i was calling for a doctor so a lot of them were saying like their soonest was like december or like uh when are they saying like end of november december and i was like oh no like that's too far so i just like kept calling kept calling and the one that i really wanted to go to they were like yeah we're super booked but we have this other office that's right near us that we recommend and so they okay and i just kind of trusted them like I was like, let me just book an appointment and I can just like look at the reviews later because it's my very first appointment. I'll just try it out. I went to this doctor and it was probably like a few weeks later. They were so like strange acting. Like I usually don't get like bad vibes from people, but like that office was like, the energy was so weird. It was just so strange. I did not like it. Like when I was in there, I was thinking I'm never coming back here. So after I left there, I immediately started looking for another doctor. And a few days later, I was like, let me look up the reviews on that doctor's office. 
when I tell you the worst reviews I've ever seen for a doctor before, like, people were like, you killed my friend, you're not gonna get away with this. She gave me a C-section and this is the stuff that, the gauze that she left inside of me. She killed my friend who was another, like, OB and, like, they were saying that she cut the wrong artery in a C-section that was supposed to be simple and ended up killing the girl. It was like, the worst reviews I've ever seen. Sometimes they're just like, oh, the receptionist is bad. But no, this was the actual doctor that they were complaining about and then they also said that they didn't like the staff either. So then I was just like, oh my gosh. And then I kept looking at reviews for the other places that were recommended to me. They all were terrible. It was, it was just like crazy. So anyway, my friend is pregnant at the same time as me who lives here. And she was like, I have a doctor that I love and I go to. And you know, it's like, it's a diverse office. They have black doctors, you know, just everything. I didn't get to get in with a doctor that she was going to, but I called them and I'm like, honestly, whatever soonest available you have, I'll take it. And they said in, I want to say it was like middle of December. So I'm like, okay, that's far out. But this is the doctor I really want to go to. And I've heard good things about them. So I'm just going to wait and go to them. And they also said like you can call back and we'll probably have cancellation sooner So literally like three times a week I would call back and each time I called back the wait time was like 20 to 30 minutes So I called back and every single time they said they did not have appointments So then we go to Michigan and go to Bali and then I come back and Right when I came back from Michigan like to Texas, that's when my appointment was supposed to be so we land Texas I want to say on like a, I don't know it's probably like a Wednesday or Thursday or something and literally the day after we got back to Texas, my granddad had passed away. So that was just like, so it was just like a really hard time. And I was like, of course I literally just got back home, but you know, we were already gone for two weeks and at Chiron school, he can only miss a maximum amount of two weeks just to be away from like home and you know, our regular schedule. So like I said, the day that I got back, he passed away that actually it might've been literally like the night that I landed. But thankfully I got to see him like right before um, I had left Michigan. So anyway, that was just like a very hard time. But then, um, like I said, I've been waiting months for my appointment and they never had cancellations, anything like that. So my granddad's funeral ended up being the day that my appointment was in. My appointment was at like 10 in the morning. His funeral was at like noon in Michigan. And I was like literally trying to figure out any possible way I could still make it to the appointment but also still be at his funeral. And I called the doctor, I'm not even kidding, like the whole entire week leading up to his funeral, like, hey, is there any way that we could please redo this? Like, it's a funeral. Um, and they were just like, yeah, there's nothing we can do. We don't have cancellations right now. So I just kept calling every day to see if they had cancellations and they never did. So it was just very hard because I was like, so either I go to this appointment that I've been waiting months for or I go to my granddad's funeral and like I don't want to miss that like that's so much closure uh, it was just a lot so it was just like a really emotional time because I was like I hate I even have to make this decision like it just really frustrated me everything about it so I was telling like my two closest friends I'm just like I don't know what to do like I just don't feel right about missing the funeral but my um, dad and like my uncles were saying you know he would want you to prioritize your health and the baby's health and I was just like, I know, I know, but in my head, I was just like, I don't feel right about missing it. Like, that's closure. That's just, it didn't feel right. So anyway, super last minute, I decided to book a flight and go back to Michigan. And I was like, you know what? I'll just go to the next doctor's appointment or I'll find a different doctor. Like, I have to be there for this. So I ended up just rescheduling the next soonest that they had, which was today, January 18th so like I said this is my first official doctor's appointment I've had two ultrasounds but this is my first official and then I actually have my ultrasound appointment for tomorrow so thankfully I got in I got my blood work drawn I really like the facility I like the doctor that I'm working with so thankfully that all worked out but guys when I tell you it's been like a really long past few months and I feel like I didn't really get to share much from Bali just because when I was there I was like I want to be in the moment and enjoy and then when we got back that's when my granddad passed away and then I was dealing with like the whole funeral and trying to pretty much decide between my appointment and his funeral and it was just so much going on and I always make a joke to my mom and my sister I'm like I'm just gonna deliver my own baby and do a natural birth because at this point I'm like my own doctor like I have a baby Doppler at home and listen to the baby's heartbeat and stuff like that this is my third pregnancy so if this was my first one absolutely not like I would have been like oh my gosh this is crazy but you know this is my third so not to say that 
it's less important but i feel like i know more what to expect and yeah so that is just what's been going on lately and tomorrow's an ultrasound and i'm like really nervous just to see how the baby is developing and like just so much stuff is going through my head but i'm so thankful that it's tomorrow and not like a week out because then i just be stressed all week thinking about the ultrasound coming up so thankfully it's tomorrow and i definitely will keep you guys updated about how the ultrasound goes and yeah i literally feel huge already like I don't know, this pregnancy just feels so much bigger. We have a lot of parents' lunch for today. And then I'm gonna get ready because we all have to go to the ultrasound. Um, so after I drop them off, we'll come back and we're gonna get ready. Just play cards, just okay. <laughs> Karen's so affectionate, and London's like, um, that's kind of how I am. I'm just be like, um, dude, how is this big? Like, I don't understand. I really feel like Mr. Crab when I take this. Huh. Gosh, I almost fell. <laughs> Ignore the back of my car. I have a whole bunch of the kids stuff back there. But guys, I am so excited. And I cannot even believe that I am saying this right now. But I got a warehouse. Like, this doesn't even seem real. I have been praying and wanting a warehouse for so long. Guys, I was trying to take you along for like a little errands day and I literally completely forgot. This is my first time ever going to Lululemon. I was like, I want to take you guys with me, you know, show a cute little vlog of me shopping and stuff like that. But I was in a rush and I completely forgot to take out my vlogging camera. But I really just hate having my vlogging camera out in public. Like if anything, I bring out my phone and have it like turn sideways or something. But um, yeah, I got quite a few things. And not really quite a few, but you know everything's expensive, so it like just added up really quick. But we're gonna see what the hype is about. We're gonna see if it's worth it or not. Um, yeah, but everything looked like it was really good quality. Store was nice. So today we have to run like tons of errands to find stuff for the warehouse. I just got the um, electricity like figured out, and I hate making calls when it has to do with like just things like that like little errands making appointments everything usually my husband does that but since this is my warehouse i was like okay i'll do this so yeah i had to call a few times about that but i finally got it situated so they're on their way to get that turned on now but it has really good sunlight so i could like go in there even before like the electricity was turned on and then i just have like a ton of stuff to get for the warehouse like of course I have a lot of stuff to get because I have literally nothing in there. I have a desk at home, but when we moved, it kind of was like falling apart. So I need a new desk. I went to the re the CB2, what's it called, Crate and Barrel outlet in Dallas, and they did not have like hardly anything. So I was really hoping that I'd find a desk there, but I didn't. So I don't really know where to shop for desks, but I feel like that's like the most important thing that I need right now. So I have a whole list. I have a really long list of things that I need to get like basic stuff and then like more actual warehouse stuff so let me see it's just like a whole series out of my warehouse because 
I just feel like there was so much that I still have to learn and that I learned already. So with like warehouse shopping, um, what I'm looking for in a warehouse, decorating the warehouse, and then you know just day to day stuff of me going there, what I do there restocking things like that because I have a lot so I don't know what order I'm gonna post this but I have a ton of stuff to get I want to make the office into like a playroom so I'm gonna try to like find stuff for that and then I really want like a big carpet and things so the kids can be like comfortable there so I say we go to Walmart because Walmart has um, like everything so let's just see I'm trying to think of the one that I like okay now we're headed to Walmart but yeah, there's a lot of like random stuff I need to get because I'm starting with nothing, so I'll show you guys once we get in there and figure out what all I need. You guys can see it's kind of a mess in the back of like London is literally like trying to get into this um, little cabinet and stuff. But anyway, we went to do all that stuff for the warehouse. I didn't buy as much today as I had planned on, but a lot of the stuff they just didn't have in stores, which I figured. So, um, no one wants to be heard. So I'm like, I'll just get a lot of stuff on Amazon like I always do or order stuff online from Target and Walmart. Um, and another thing i need to know do you guys know of any places to get a good desk from like i just there's one that i really really want but it's sold out everywhere so can i find that and i really i've been wanting it for so long and i was like i already have a desk so i'll just wait until i get a warehouse and then i can get it and now it's gone but anyway didn't get as much as i planned and that's okay right now so we went and dropped this stuff off because of course i need space in the car for like the kids and we came home, me and Linda took a very quick nap. Now I'm cleaning up, I did some laundry, I'm about to do dishes, and I also am going to cook. I got a Hello Fresh box, and I haven't gotten one in a while since like our last house, so I'm excited about making a Hello Fresh meal. I really wanna be better about cooking more this year, um, and I feel like I have been. I definitely feel like I have been. I made like a roast this week, I made some chicken wings the other day that were so good. And I got HelloFresh just because I was like, I might as well. Like, oh, you hungry? Say hi. Hi. Um, so we are about to get her. Yeah. So I try to get stuff done while she is like, um, oops, in her high chair eating her food. And also, I found her little cargoes. Oh, you want the cliff bar first? Okay. Anyway, what I was saying, I got her little cargoes at TJ Maxx, but they were actually from Zara, which I wasn't expecting. And then her top was from Walmart. But anyway, um, I was just saying, pretty much, we got home fresh, so I'm about to clean up, put that away, and make a meal. And I think I'm gonna do like the baked chicken meal, and actually, I didn't realize that you literally pay first and then you pick out your meals and so at the time I was like oh I'll come back to it whatever like I always do I was like I'll just come back to picking my meals and I didn't realize it was already paid for so I was thinking I paid once my meals were picked and it didn't so it like picked me some random meals I try to eat a lot of pork so with this one I think there were a few meals that had pork in it but if there's pork um like I said I'll still eat it but I just like don't prefer it. I don't think I'll probably eat the pork in these meals, so I'll probably just replace the pork with like chicken that we have because we do have a lot of like meats in the freezer. And I, like I said, my goal is to cook more this year. So with the meats in the freezer, I want to just, um, you know, actually call them because if I want to cook something, I more so do it in the moment. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna like order the meat brand new from the store and not thaw out the old one which is so pointless, like, I just need to plan the night before and, you know, get it out early in the morning and let it thaw out. So I'm gonna show you guys where they're at. This is not sponsored, but I've worked with HelloFresh in the past. So let me show you guys what I got. Ooh, I forgot, I think I added on some garlic bread. I'm gonna get this the next month. 
Um, this is a pork sausage ricotta rosa. See, this is pork, but it's like, it's not like super porky, I don't think. Does that make sense? Because it looks just like ground beef. This is the thing that I think I'm gonna cook today. My husband loves, wait, are these carrots? Ooh, I love carrots. Okay, I'm probably gonna make this today. They're a little like sauce on the side. If this is what I think that it is, it's so good. And let me rant really quick while I'm cleaning. I'll wait till after I do the dishes. Okay. All right, I'm about to put some dishes away from the dishwasher while London is in her high chair because if not, then she gets so mad at me um, when I'm like trying to put my dishes away and stuff because she wants to play in the dishwasher. Anyway, I have been really trying to like do new curly hair styles. If you follow me on like TikTok and Instagram, you'll see what I mean of like, you know, just trying different things out. And I do like it, but I'm just like, and I don't want to complain, but I really, it's just like so much work doing my hair every single day. It just amazes me that some people can like just wake up and go naturally without having to like really do anything. But then with like curly hair, you literally have to refresh it every day. Well, at least I do. I feel like I have to refresh it every day. Or, um, you know, just when I wake up in the morning, I just look crazy until I do something to my hair. And then, like they say, slick back styles um, aren't good for your hair, like cause breakage. You guys see London looking at me? It's like, you know, even my, the style that I would do as a go-to is like, you know, not that good for me. Not for me, but you know, for my hair. So that's kind of been my struggle lately. Yeah, I really just want to get my hair done, but I also like wanting to go natural a little bit more this year. So that's my struggle right now. It's just like really hard to like know what I should do. But it's just so much work every single day when I have kids, I have a business, I have like content to shoot for brands and stuff like that. It's just a struggle, like. It really, it really is. All right, I'm about to take you guys along with my little cleanup. This is what I do every day, just keep cleaning up. My husband and I both never eat. I have so many clothes. And I need some new return clothes, that's cool. Okay, I'm back and I'm about to cook now this Hello Fresh meal. I'm gonna plug in my candle on the first. I always wash my hands a million times when I cook, like I just cannot. I should try to make a TikTok like this. Ooh. 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 This tripod that I got, um, I went upstairs to go get this. That's where I was coming from. Can't really see it that well, but it's so good. It literally is so good. Get all the angles because it can bend. Ooh, this is a good angle, but my camera's all in the way, so I have to move my camera. I'm about to peel these. Okay, so we left the warehouse earlier and now we're having a little mommy and Sunday. Say hi, Kyron. Michael's house. Yeah, we're, in, we're at Michael's. Not Michael's house, we're just at Michael's. So I want to get like a craft. Michael. We're gonna make a toy. Yeah, we're gonna get a toy from Michael's. Uh, so we're gonna have a little mommy Sunday. Toys. You wanna get a toy from Michael's? Yes. Okay, we're having a mommy Sunday and we're starting at Michael's. Do you want this one or you make make it bubble? No treasure, please. It's, 
right now and she's gonna get so mad at me she's literally eyeing me right now she already got her croissant but she always wants mine and i know this is extra that i dumped this little container into my bowl but it makes me feel good it makes me feel like i have my life together oh this promo looks so good and now i have to go share this with london of course because if not she will flip my kitchen is just giving like oh, this one's huge my kitchen is giving fall vibes and like rainy day vibes but it is not one of those days. We have a very busy day ahead of us. I finally got my vlogging camera. I literally went back and forth like 10 times. I'm not even kidding. First, I couldn't find my vlogging camera. Then I found my vlogging camera and I was super excited. Then I could not find my memory card. Then I had a battery in and it was about to die. So then I switched the batteries and then my other battery was completely dead. So then when this one was on the charger, I took it off. It was on there for like two minutes and for some reason it came back with a full battery. <sighs> I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining, but just know I still look crazy. Um, I'm about to get some groceries in the house from my Walmart delivery because I just feel like I always have so much to do and like going to the grocery store just has not been something that is gonna fit into like all that I have to do because it's just too much, it's too much. And I constantly feel like I need stuff from the grocery store because I like literally am always forgetting stuff. <laughs> anyway, it's been a good day. We are up, well, I am up watching Monet. Kyron and London woke up at 5 a.m. London woke up Kyron and, and then Kyron had to go to school. So usually he wakes up at like 6.30 to get ready to go to school. So she woke him up early and she just kept following me around being super clingy, grabbing onto my leg while I was cleaning, I'm like, what's up like what, what do you need and she just wanted to take a nap so i lay down with her then she fell asleep on me cuddled with the baby like she always does but anyway my groceries got delivered i cleaned up i did my skin this morning i put some makeup on i haven't done my hair yet but we have a busy day i'm about to set up my warehouse yeah. um and i'm not doing everything yet because not everything is here my desk was supposed to come this weekend and i was like dang i really want to come sooner because you know i feel like the desk is like the main part of my office. It's supposed to come this weekend. Obviously, I couldn't control that. And then I checked it, and it's coming Wednesday now. And then yesterday, Sunday, I was like, I really want to paint my office, but I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know. I was like, I could wear a mask because I'm pregnant. And then my husband's moving all my stuff. So I'm like, he's doing enough. I need um, either someone to paint it or I could paint it. And then we ended up reaching out, well, I reached out to the painters who did our house and I was like, hey, do you have any availability? Like when's the soonest you're available? I really want my office painted. And I really wanted it done that day, but I was like, that kind of sounds a little unrealistic. So I'm just gonna ask. And he was like, yeah, I'm available today or Tuesday. What was I even talking about? Oh, so I had reached out to him and I was like, you know, that's unrealistic for me to expect that he could come today or anything. So I didn't even say when, but he was like, yeah, I'm available today or Tuesday. And I was like, please come today. So he ended up coming at 11. So that just shows like I texted him super early, came at 11 and then it was done early in the day. So we let it air out. And then we went back and we put all the flooring down. So I'll show you guys. And like I said, couldn't find my vlogging camera. So I recorded on my phone, but um, yeah, that's what we did yesterday. We did the floor. We ran out of the flooring or else we would have just did the whole office yesterday, but we ran out. So today my husband's going to get that right now. He just dropped Kyron off to school and then he went to get the flooring from Home Depot because that stuff was heavy. He's going to get the U-Haul and he's gonna put everything that's in the garage, all my inventory and everything in the U-Haul. And thankfully we have like the loading dock, like the big loading dock thing in my warehouse. So he's just gonna back the U-Haul up and then he's gonna take all the boxes out. And then once my stuff from U-Haul comes, my like big, um, like cargo containers that I had in my old office. If you guys saw my old office video to like divide all my inventory, 
those are coming in tomorrow so after all the boxes are in i feel like the dividing part is easy so after he brings everything to the warehouse then i could do the dividing part you know just throwing each color into the bins and then my desk will be here wednesday and i'll probably get a carpet today from home depot so i'm really excited i feel like everything's just coming along like quick because last week was an ice storm i think i was talking about it in I don't know if this is gonna be the same vlog or not, but because of the ice storm, it really pushed me back and I was worried. I was like, dang, I just got a warehouse and I'm already slacking on like, you know, not getting stuff in here and like not planning my restock yet. But this just put me, put me back and I feel good. I feel like it's all working out. And I also had like a little weekend without social media. So that felt good and very productive. This is London. I'm glad she's getting her beauty rest because we got stuff to do today, so. And I'm about to get my groceries right now. We're about to run to the store, so here's just like a current update. We have to cut the pieces, so Tariana will probably do that. But other than that, I think it's looking pretty good. It looks good. It's white on the wall. I'm about to clean up all this trash, and we're going to head out. Okay, we're back at the warehouse. My husband's on project number five million trillion. He's sick of me. Oh. Let's go. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 